Hi baby, on this week's episode we are going to talk about and teach you how to lick her up and eat her out properly. And this is obviously a vulva edition, so if you are a penis owner or maybe you are another vulva owner looking for some tips and tricks to bring to the bedroom, then this is the basic beginner's guideline. Because at the end of the day, all vulvas are different and I am just talking from my standpoint and what I enjoy. However, I do try to keep it a little bit more on the broad side so that you can have different ways and different techniques to bring to your partner. Now, if you are new to my channel, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because every single Monday at 8 p.m. Central Time is when I decide to drop my video. And yeah, it's always gonna be spicy and educational and fun. And well, I mean, I guess you get to look at me talk because maybe I'm entertaining enough for you. But I know what you came here for and I know you don't like to listen to me ramble. So let's get started with step and tip number one. Rolling into step number one, we are going to set the tone of the room. Now, like every other sexual act, we are going to build up the anticipation and then go in for the kill. Because we're not going to go and shock 8,000 herb endings all at once because that is not going to be fun and she is going to retract. So we are going to do what we call priming. We are going to prime her, okay? So we're going to start with maybe some light kisses down the neck, onto the stomach, maybe a little bit of a hip grab, a booty grab, a leg touch, you know, slight little grazes. Now you want to be doing this a tasteful amount because it is pretty easy to overload. So pay attention to your partner's body language and how they are responding to certain acts. Maybe they're not a fan of nibbling or maybe they're not a fan of a shit ton of saliva all over the body because for me i know that is something that i'm not into that brings me to another thing which is eye contact so while you're working your way down because that's the pathway that i would like you to follow is working from the mouth all the way down as long as you get to your end zone without touching the vulva then that is gonna be fucking magnificent because now you have officially primed her the eye contact is something that you are gonna have to feel out with your partner so for me personally i'm not the biggest fan of eye contact while i'm receiving pleasure however if i am giving i will give you all the eye contact that i want to because that is how i seduce <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if it's your first time with this partner, you can play around with a little bit of eye contact on your way down and see how they respond to it. Whether they're into it and they engage back with you or maybe they're like closing their eyes or shifting their eyes to the side so that they can step back into their body and instead of in the mind. Moving on to step number two. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a diagram here. This is your vulva. This is the clit at the top here and that is what the second step is about. It's an additional step step of priming. So you have located the clitoris and now you are going to stimulate the legs. So you're not going to touch the surface of the clit. You are going to massage the legs. So you're going to be right around either side in between the labia minora and labia majora. So that peace sign technique that I've showed you in a couple of my other videos, that is how you will be doing that. And you can come down, massage, and then squeeze up at the top. Now, if the clit is located in between your fingers, you can kind of rock back and forth and very, very, very gently, like the scale is gentle here, midway, it's a little bit more aggressive, and then this is the level 10. You are going to be at a level 2 out of 10 because you need to have room for growth and way to improve your speed, your pressure, and... You don't want to give it everything you got all at once, am I right? Because it's not only not going to help her out, it's not going to be easy for you to maintain that or go faster when they need you to. I really, really, really need to get a diagram or like a puppet or something. However, the puppet that I want is like $500, which is fucking crazy to me. Hopefully when I start generating money from this, I will actually get a puppet so it can show you what the fuck to do because I need to do that. Step number three is where you finally get to do what you and her have been waiting for use your tongue. So before on the scale out of 10, 10 being aggressive and one being obviously gentle, you were at a two. Now you are slowly gonna start to amplify and you are gonna go to around a five. 
obviously you are paying attention to your partner's body language and feeding off of what they are giving you. If they're starting to pull back, that means you have increased your pressure and your speed too fast. Dial it back. And if they're super sensitive, I recommend using a broader, flatter tongue. So something that looks a little bit like this. If you are wanting to be a little bit more aggressive and precise, because that is what your partner is telling you that they want, you are going to switch your tongue from being flat and broad to more rigid and coming to a point. So you go from this to this. <laughs> now you're not only playing with the shape of your tongue, but you're also going to play with the motion, whether you go up and down or whether you go side to side, that is really your partner's preference. So pay attention to when you are alternating between the two, what they are more receptive to. For myself personally, I really enjoy side to side rather than up and down. However, I am a little bit more on the sensitive side. Step number four, it's time to check in with your partner. This is where you add in a little bit of dirty talk. Do you like it when I do it like that? How does that feel for you? Do you want me to go harder, faster, slow it down? Would you like me to suck on your clit? Like different things that you say to make them engage back with you and tell you what they like. If they don't wanna talk or they wanna hear it, you're gonna get a solid head push because fuck man, that is totally what I do. But I also kind of like being in control and giving guidelines. Dom here. Keep in mind, if you are somebody who has had multiple sexual partners, that does not mean that the partner that you're with currently is comparable. Because like I had stated in the beginning of my video, all vulvas are different. Whether it's shape, whether it's size, whether it's color, whether it's different pressures, different sensations, maybe they're sensitive, maybe they like it more aggressive. You just don't know. Maybe they want it up and down or circles or side to side. You have to be able to openly communicate to your partner in the bedroom as well as outside of the bedroom. Step number five, this is when you kind of give the clit a break and you start maybe licking the booty hole, the titties. Maybe you start sucking on her hips or squeezing her chest or placing your hand around her neck. All of these are done with consent ahead of time. You do not ask for consent while you are in the mood. Everything should be discussed ahead of time. Please do not forget that. That is super, super important because unfortunately we can say yes to things when we are not really comfortable because we are in the heat of the moment and then feel awful about it later. But that goes back with step number four. But this is step number five. So like I said, you are going to draw your attention to other erotic zones on the body while maybe taking your hands and stimulating the clit or maybe even doing a little bit of inserting and really rubbing that back portion of the g-spot that is gonna make her die one of my personal favorites is to add a toy into the mixture which is really great for you because if your tongue and your hands start getting a little bit tired you just fire on that vibe and it will take over for you now you can also use the vibrator on her nipples maybe on her gooch or her taints or even on the booty hole whatever you all are into it does not matter to me there is no kink shaming here however like i stated before you must have consent. Number six ties into number five. You can overwork the clit where it becomes overly sensitive and it doesn't feel good. Like imagine you bust and she begs you to go for round two really quick or she's jerking it while you're coming and you're done coming and she's still going. That sensation doesn't feel good. So sometimes that can happen to us, especially after we climax. However, we are lucky as vulva owners, we can usually climax more than once. So just back off for a second, give attention to other portions of the body, and then dive right back into it. Remember, pay attention to your speed and your pressure because every vulva is different. So like I had stated, this is just a general guideline on how to eat her out or how to eat the coochie out. <laughs> fucking cats man ziz wants to play this is how you eat the pussy out i look forward to getting your dms letting me know how all of these steps and techniques worked for you please feel free to shoot me a message or suggestions in the comments 
or head over to my Instagram where you can send me a personal message and it will stay between you and I. However, please keep it friendly because I've got some creepy ass shit lately and I ain't fucking down with it. Not if you're not paying me to talk to you like that. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I love you babies. I'll see you next Monday.